Hi friends! Today we will learn the different modes of heat transfer. So let's start. Let's first learn what is heat. Heat is defined as the transfer of energy between two systems. And this energy transfers by means of particles bouncing into each other. So we can say it is the transfer of heat energy from one object to the other object by means of the kinetic energy of particles bouncing into each other. When you bring two objects of different temperatures together, heat energy transfers from the hotter to the cooler object until the temperature of both objects becomes the same. Heat always transfers from hot to cold. Now let's learn the distinction between heat and temperature. Heat refers to the transfer of energy between systems or bodies. Whereas temperature is determined by the energy contained within a singular system or body. In other words, heat is energy, while temperature is a measure of that energy. Adding heat to any body increases its temperature, while removing heat from any body lowers its temperature. Now let's learn why heat always travels from the hotter object to the cooler object. We know everything around us is matter, and matter is made up of particles, and particles have more energy at higher temperatures. So particles of hotter objects collide with slower moving particles of adjacent materials with cooler temperatures, and in this way they transfer some of their energy to the slower moving particles, and the process continues until all the particles are moving at the same rate. This is the process of heat transfer from a hotter region to a colder region. Now let's learn the units of heat. The SI unit of heat is joule. Heat is frequently also measured in the calorie, which is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water from 14.5 degrees Celsius to 15.5 degrees Celsius. Heat transfer occurs in three modes, which are known as the three modes of heat transfer. Conduction convection, and radiation. Now let's learn all three of them one by one. Conduction. Conduction takes place at a microscopic level. In conduction, heat transfer takes place due to a temperature difference in a body or between bodies in thermal contact without the mixing of their mass. Atoms or molecules at higher temperatures have high levels of energy. Through vibration, this energy is passed on to neighboring atoms and molecules. Or we can say vibrating atoms and molecules transfer a part of their energy to neighboring molecules and atoms. This kind of heat transfer can take place between two or more substances or throughout a substance. Now let's have a look at some examples of conducting heat through conduction. When a car is turned on, the engine becomes hot and the hood becomes warm because the heat is conducted from the engine to the hood. The cup, which is carrying hot coffee or hot tea, becomes hot, and this is due to conducting heat. If we hold an ice cube in our hand, it melts because the heat is being conducted from our hand to the ice cube. Hot food turns the plate hot. This is also conducting of heat. Placing a pan on the burner or stove makes the pan or the pot hot due to conducting of heat. Now let's learn what is convection. Convection is the mode of heat transfer in which fluids are moved in order to transfer heat. Now let's understand with the help of an example. Boiling water is an example of heat transfer through convection. First of all, a hot surface or flames heat up the pot. Heat transfers from the bottom layer of the pot to the bottom layer of the water. The warmer water moves upwards, and the cooler water moves downwards. And this cycle continues this way. Heated water is constantly replaced by cooler water in a circular manner. This way a transfer of heat is known as convection. So here is the actual movement of heated atoms and molecules. Whereas in conduction, the heat is transferred through vibration. Atoms or molecules do not leave their original position. Now let's have some examples of heating through convection. Radiator. The radiator puts warm air out of the top and draws in cooler air at the bottom. 
Steam coming from a hot cup of coffee is an example of heat transfer through convection, as the steam is transferring heat from the coffee to the surrounding air through convection. Melting of ice is also an example of heat transfer through convection, as heat transfers from the surrounding air to the ice through convection. Hot air balloons are also examples of heat transfer through convection, as a heater inside the balloon heats the air and so the air moves upwards. This causes the balloon to rise because the hot air gets trapped inside. And when the pilot wants to descend or to come downward, he releases some of the hot air, and cool air takes its place, which causes the balloon to come downwards. This was about convection. Let's repeat. Convection is the mode of heat transfer in which atoms or molecules actually move to transfer the heat. And in the case of conduction, there is no movement of molecules from one place to the other. Molecules only vibrate to transfer energy to the next molecule. Now let's learn about the third mode of heat transfer, which is called radiation. In this mode of heating, heat is transferred in the form of radiant energy, or wave motion from one body to another body, and no medium is required for this mode of heating, or heat is transferred through a transparent medium. The property of radiation is different from convection and conduction, as both convection and conduction require some medium for the heat to travel from, the hotter region to the colder region. In the case of radiation, Random movements of atoms and molecules in heated substances result in emission of electromagnetic waves that carry heat. So the heat or warmth that you feel while sitting near any hot object is due to the radiation of heat from that hot object. For example, sitting near a fireplace, you feel warmth due to the radiation of heat from the fire. Heat is not only radiated from hot objects. Every object above 0 degrees Kelvin, or negative 273 degrees Celsius, is radiating heat all the time. Yes, every object. Let's have an example. This is a hot cup of coffee. Will it stay hot forever? No, it will achieve room temperature in some time. Why? Let's learn. All the objects that have a temperature above 0 degrees Kelvin radiate heat and also absorb heat all the time. When temperature of the object is higher than its surroundings, then it radiates more heat than the heat that it is absorbing. And as a result, its temperature keeps on decreasing until it becomes equal to the temperature of its surroundings. And then it radiates and absorbs the same amount of heat. And when the temperature of an object is lower than its surroundings, for example, a chilled glass of water, then it absorbs more heat than the heat that it radiates, and as a result, its temperature keeps on increasing until its temperature becomes equal to the temperature of its surroundings, and in that case, it radiates and absorbs the same amount of heat. So, in a nutshell, if you place a hot cup of coffee and a chilled glass of water on the same table, after some time, you can check that both will have the same temperature. It is all due to the fact that every object radiates heat and absorbs heat until its temperature becomes equal to its surroundings. Now let's learn more examples of radiation of heat. All life forms on Earth need energy from the sun, which reaches Earth through radiation. Yes, heat energy travels from the sun to the Earth through radiation. Sunlight reaches us and no medium is required by radiation to reach the Earth. So radiation can travel even in a vacuum. So we learned three modes of heat transfer. Convection, conduction, and radiation. Here we have combined an example which uses all three of them. We have a fireplace which is being used for heating water. So we can see all three modes of heat transfer from this. The flame produces radiation, which heats the container. The transfer of heat to water is through conduction. And the hot water rises to the top 
through convection process or the water is getting boiled through convection. Steam is rising up and spreading heat. It is also due to convection. Flames are producing heat due to radiation. We can feel the warmth around this fire due to radiation. So friends, today we learned three different modes of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, and radiation.